What's up everyone, it's Yon the producer here. Yeah? Welcome to the channel. In this video I'm going to be showing my gear, what I actually keep in, in my bag. Let's get to it. Whoosh. Part of the magic of being on the go is being able to travel light but take all the things you need to go with you. I started building my mobile setup out of simple stuff I had at home. For me, I knew I needed some sort of MIDI keyboard, a way to connect it to my mobile computing device, in this case my iPad or my iPhone. And everything just kind of like evolved from there. So I'm just going to find a good spot where we can like stop and have a look into the bag. Now, not all the gears I'm using here are going to work for your workflow. These are the ones that I personally found useful for me. So, a few of the advanced gears I got was my microphone, which was a Fifi microphone, USB mic. I also got a Zoom U44 interface recently. But that was just more as a way to get some, to get some higher quality sounds. But before then, this was my main gear. I keep with me a wireless speaker with a headphone jack because it allows me to connect my iPad or my iPhone directly into it. My controller, my MIDI controller of choice is my Novation Launch Key Mini. And here's the main star, which is my iPad. I also do keep like a video camera stand here, which I can use to do videos but that's just for another reason let's open up this pouch and see what's inside so before I switch to the zoom u44 I was using an iRig interface to be able to record audio yeah it's still really really useful because of the fact that it comes with a audio headphone jack it's a bit noisy though I keep a flash disk as well because you never know when you want to transfer files USB camera connection kit is under one of them. I keep a pair of earphones because you gotta record audio on the go. This is just a pair of in-ear monitors, but I like the fact that they're pretty flat, so it allows me to get the audio in better quality. The lavalier mic was what I was using before I got the Fifi mic. I still use this a lot because it's easy to set up. But and I have a few dongles, yeah, like the headphone dongle, a USB dongle I can plug into my iPhone. I've got there's these cables, two of them, one for stereo, one for mono. This is, that's one that goes directly into here. And then another one of this one. This is the stereo version, but I do have the mono, yeah, as well. It allows me to be able to use a few cables. Speaking of cables, let's take a look. I have a few extra cables here and power bricks power bricks is my this is my anchor power brick it allows for two usb ports and i can easily plug it it's also a battery bank as well it doesn't store a lot but it's really good for what it does on top of that i keep two headphone jacks i keep one of the cables that can plug into the novation launch key i keep two of them to be exact And I have a multi, multi-corded cable, which allows me to just plug in one of these directly into an iPhone, that's an iPhone, a regular one, and a USB Type-C. This way, I'm able to work with other devices that I may not have expected. And that's kind of like how, so yeah, that's my mobile setup in a nutshell. So part of the reason why I use the Novation Launch Key Mini is because of its portability. It's a really small controller, although it's not Bluetooth and it doesn't have a battery inbuilt. I like the fact that the controller has so many advanced features. For example, it's got transpose directly built into it. It gives me 16 drum pads I can easily work with. It's a pretty lightweight controller. It has quite a few knobs I can easily twist and turn and it also integrates well with a lot of the other iOS apps I use, like Groovebox, especially, and a few others there. Plus, it's a pretty, it's a good entry-level controller. In fact, it's one that I'd say if you were getting started on iOS, it's one I personally would recommend getting because 
for what it does, it is insanely powerful. It, there's a lot more. There's a lot more depth in that controller than a lot of people give credit for. But the reason why I use a Bluetooth speaker is because of portability. The sounds you get directly from your iPad, while they are loud, they may not be super loud. So I started using this Bluetooth speaker as a way, if I wanted to hear my mixes on a different sound test, I use it on this bass heavy speaker. Of course, it's not gonna give me the full quality. So I make use of an app like Morfit to be able to get a feeling of how it would sound like on different on different systems. It's always it's not really my final mix, but it does get me started to be able to get a really really good mix. One of the reasons why I got the USB microphone was while I was getting some decent audio with the lavalier mic, I still found myself I couldn't really get a nicer feel of the of the sounds. So using the USB mic was a good way for me to get clearer audio quality without introducing a lot of noise from the headphone jack and I don't always use it all the time it's more of a specialist too for the zoom u44 the reason why I chose it was because of one it's a pretty lightweight controller like it's something I can easily hold one hand but on top of that it doesn't require external power because it has its own built-in battery spot where you can put in batteries directly there. So I don't need to power it from the iPad or iPhone directly. I like the convenience of it. Of course, there is the extension that you need to, to get for it where you can connect in four inputs. I just have, I just use it for two inputs right now. But for what it does, it's great. One of the things I like to do is if I'm doing a collaboration session with someone or I want to pair two devices together, I can use that zoom interface to get the two audio stems and then just balance it out directly on my DAW, whether it's GarageBand or something else. Yeah, most of the time it's GarageBand I use, but part of the reasons why I use the headphone jack cables is flexibility. One, it makes it easy for me to connect it to my Bluetooth device, but with those with those connectors, I can easily turn it into an instrument cable, the one you can plug into a guitar, you can plug into a sound system. I have one long one and a short one, so that that way, so that it's good for the situation I need it in. Again, it's not always perfect. There's been some times where I did need to get some extra cables, but I found out that doing it this way actually helped me be a lot more organized. And it, it's actually helped me out a lot. There are some situations where I, where I wouldn't expect I need all these cables. I ended up needing it. Of course, it's not gonna have everything. And that's perfectly fine. My mobile setup is just mainly the things I feel like I would need whenever I'm collaborating with someone. It definitely, I don't have like a, like a bigger headphone with me. And that was done on purpose because I didn't really want to have some sort of bulky weight on my ears. So I just used the simple in-ear monitors because they accomplish the same effect I'm trying to do. They're good in isolating sound where I don't really hear anything outside. And it doesn't look too out of place when I'm doing stuff directly on the iPad. So that's my mobile setup and it's been serving me for the past year or so. There's a chance that some things will change and that's perfectly fine because part of being mobile is always being able to, open to change because I'm never always at the same place at the same time. And who knows, there might be a different hardware that might work well for my use case. But honestly, I think for right now, I have all I need. Anything else would just be advanced studio gear. If I needed to do anything seriously complex, then yeah, I have, then yeah, it would be more of a decision if I really do need it or not. Like for example, if I was using my Novation Launchpad, that's more of a performance controller. I don't always need it. I'm but when I need it, I have it to be able to bring it. So yeah, this is my primary setup here right now, and I keep it in a simple bag here. It wasn't anything fancy, but it's not about the gear, it's how you use it, that's what they say. That being said, I'm thankful for what I got. Anyways, hope you have a good one. Take it easy. Whoosh.